All right, here's the example sake of finding the domain of the sum, difference, and product of two functions. Now, two functions we have here is the rational function of 2 over x minus 3 and square root function of 2 minus x. For the function g, of course, whenever we have a square root function, the way we find the domain is by taking the radicand, 2 minus x, and set it greater than or equal to 0. Solving for x by adding x to both sides, we got 2 greater than or equal to x. So another way of saying this is that x has to be less than or equal to positive 2. So that's the domain of the function g. Now what about the domain of function f? Well, for a rational function, what I'd like to do first is see if I can simplify it. Well, I don't think we can simplify this anyway, so we are going to take the denominator and set it not equal to 0. Solving for x by adding 3 to both sides, we are going to have x cannot be equal to positive 3. So on a number line, how do we um, write the interval notation for both of these? Well, let's see. We have positive 3 right here. And we got positive 2, let's say, right here. And for the function g, well, it says... It says that x has to be less than or equal to 2. Every time when you see the inequality side of less than or equal or greater than or equal, you're talking about a closed dot. So closed dot here at positive 2. And since have since uh, not since, uh, since 2 has to be greater than or equal to x, you're talking about all of the x value that is less than 2. So it's going to go all the way to negative infinity like that. So this is the domain of uh, uh, function g, not f, my bad. Now what about the function f? Well, for the function f, let's see, I'm put it up here a little bit. For the function f, all you have to do is that you put the open circle at the number 3 because we are saying that x cannot be equal to 3. So we exclude that. And of course the fun fact is that um, whenever you have the inequality side of just greater than or less than, it's still an open dot, open circle like this. So the domain is that x cannot be equal to, po to positive 3. So you're talking about all of the real numbers from negative infinity up to positive 3, but not including it, and then from not including positive 3 all the way to positive infinity. So this is the domain of f. So for the interval notation for the function f, from here, from negative infinity up to 3 but not including it, you're talking about open interval, negative infinity, comma, 3. And then uh, open parentheses again. Jumping to the next part, going from excluding 3 all the way to positive infinity, you're going to put a union sign. And of course, another open interval from 3 all the way to positive infinity. So that's the interval notation for the function f. Now for the function g, we go from negative infinity up to including 2. Up to 2 and actually equal to 2. So you're talking about a bracket at the left end point, positive 2, comma, uh, oops, no, 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 not this, my bad, my bad. You're talking about uh, parentheses, negative infinity, comma, positive 2. And since we are having a closed dot, meaning since we are including positive 2, because x is allowed to be positive 2, you're talking about the bracket. So that's the interval notation for the function g. Now let's find the sum difference and product. So for the sum f plus g, it is going to be equal to 2 over x minus 3 plus square root of 2 minus x. Well, let's see. Finding the common denominator by multiplying the invisible denominator, denominator 1 by x minus 3 and multiply the whole numerator by x minus 3 because I recognize the fact that the lowest common denominator of these two are just the product of both of them. So x minus 3 is already there and 
we just need another x minus 3 here. So the sum turns out to be equals to 2 over x minus 3 and then plus square root of 2 minus x times x minus 3 all over 1 multiply anything it's just that thing itself so the sum turns out to be 2 plus x minus 3 times square root of 2 minus x all over one same common denominator, common denominator x minus 3 let's try to find all of the points of uh, restriction or all of the points of discontinuity at every step of the simplification process so at this step the only re restriction that we see is that right here which is the same as above x cannot be equal to positive 3 and for here we have this so we can tell right away another point of uh, another restriction is that x has to be uh, less than or equal to positive 2 just like up here at this step same thing this denominator as well as this one x cannot be equal to 3 and x cannot be equal to 3 and for this x also has to be less than or equal to uh, 2 and the same thing for this last step we have this denominator here so x cannot be equal to 3 and we have this square root here x has to be less than or equal to 2 and the reason why as shown in the previous videos the reason why we have to find all of the points of discontinuity at every step is because we want to make sure that every um, uh, every fraction, every expressions that we are working with cannot be undefined. And the way we make sure that they are not undefined is by excluding all of the x values that would make any one of these uh, expressions undefined. Because if one of them is undefined, then the whole thing, uh, the whole problem cannot be uh, solved. Now, what about this, the uh, difference? Well, the difference um, can be found in a similar manner. Up here, we had a plus, so the only difference is that we had a minus sign this time. So up here, we have this whole thing, and we get down to here. And of course, we know right away that it is going to be 2 minus this stuff. And you guys know how to do the algebra. So I got 2 minus x minus 3 times square root of 2 minus x. <clears throat> all over x minus 3 and um, I know that I did not show these two steps here but um, when you show your work the way that you found the way that you find the points of discontinuity is still going to be uh, very similar to what we did up here for the plus okay so I'll let you guys take that away and for this one, I know for sure that restriction is the same as above. X cannot be equal to 3. And this right here says that X also has to be less than or equal to 2. Okay, now what about the product? Oops. The product is going to be 2 over X minus 3 times square root of 2 minus X. Which is equal to 2 times square root of 2 minus x all over this whole thing and yeah it's pretty straightforward now let's find all the point um let's find so yeah that's pretty straightforward now the points of discontinuity at every step let's say at this step is that x cannot be equal to positive 3 and this one right here x has to be less than or equal to 2 the same as above and sim discontinuity points for this step. Now, what about the interval notation for the sum, the difference, and the product? If we take a look at the number line that we have up here, the domain of the product, I mean, the domain of the sum, have to include all of the points in common of both the function f and a function g well all of the 
the x values in common that we have from both of these domains. The way that I like to find them is that I like to take the shorter domain, comparing it to the longer domain, and I'm going to trace it up like this. Actually, now I'm going to use the red one just in case. I like to trace it up like this. Up to this right here. So I take I take a point that is either a closed dot or an open dot and I trace it up back to the number line and then when I compare both of these uh, shorter and longer domains I can tell right away that all of the x values that they have in common are from uh, negative infinity all the way up to and including positive 2 so right away I can tell that the domain of the sum of uh, these two functions go from negative infinity up to and including 2. And of course, the same thing can be said for the difference from negative infinity up to and including 2. So the domain of the difference is the same as the domain of the sum. And the same thing for the product. So the interval notation for the domain of the, the uh, sum, difference, and product is actually going to be, I'm going to put it over here, so hopefully you can see that. Parentheses as negative infinity, comma, 2, and then since we are including 2, we put the bracket. 